Good morning, students. Today uh, we are starting with the chapter twenty-eight of English language, that is pronouns. In the previous class, also we were discussing about the same chapter, about the same topic, and there we have discussed about the types of pronoun. We have started discussing about the types of pronoun, and there we discussed the two types of pronoun: the personal pronoun and the possessive pronoun. the personal pronoun we have discussed that the personal pronoun itself has three different categories the first person the second person and the third person first person is the person who is speaking the second person is the person to whom the first person is speaking or the person who is listening and the third person is the person about whom the first person is speaking so this is the and we have also discussed the way in the form of a table that uh, how do we use various pronouns in the first person second person or the third person the next that we have discussed was the possessive pronoun possessive pronouns are the pronouns which shows the possession means something belongs to you so mine yours ours theirs all these are the possessive pronouns which are used to show the possession along with the possessive pronouns we have also discussed about the possessive of adjectives so these are the two kinds that we have discussed in the previous class today we will start with the third type that is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns what are the demonstrative pronouns the word demonstrative comes from the word demonstration which means to show to present something so demonstrative pronouns are the pronouns which point out to people or thing for example what do you use as a demonstrative pronoun this that these and those all these are used as the demonstrative pronoun we use again we use these demonstrative pronoun on the basis of how they will be used means as the singular or the plural so for this again i am going to draw a table how we will use for the singular and how we are going to use for the plural and how we will decide this about the speaker so first near the speaker and in second case far away from the speaker far away from the speaker so when something is near to the speaker and it is singular we will use this and when something is near to the speaker but it is far away from the speaker then we will use that in case of singular whereas in case of plural something near to the speaker and plural these far away from the speaker and plural those so in this way we are going to use these demonstrative pronouns for example
This is not my umbrella. This is not my umbrella. That means the umbrella must be near to the speaker. That's why the speaker said this is not my umbrella. Now, another is that a dove, dove is a bird. So, a bird is sitting, the dove is sitting far away from the speaker. So, that's why suppose the dove is sitting on a tree, on the branch of a tree. And the speaker is asking, is that dove? Dove, why? Because it is far away from the speaker. In the similar manner, we can use uh, see the examples of these and those. Uh, these are my clothes. So these are my clothes means the speaker is indicating, demonstrating for the clothes and the clothes must be lying near to the speaker. That is why we say these are my clothes. For those, those flowers are very beautiful. Those flowers are very beautiful means the flowers are far away from the speaker and that is why the speaker is using the word those as the demonstrative pronoun. And why those? Because here we are talking about flowers. We are not talking about only one flower. But we are talking about more than one flower. That's why we have used those. For the singular, we will use this and that. For the plural, we will use these and those. So this is the demonstrative pronoun. Now, the next one that we will discuss is reflexive or emphatic pronoun. One is reflexive or emphatic pronoun. Now, what are the reflexive or the emphatic pronoun of words such as? Myself, yourself, himself, herself, ourselves. Why it is ourselves and why not self? Because we use our verb for more than one people. It is the plural form. So, the self will also become self. All of you must have learned this rule for making the plural. That whenever there is F or FE at the end, that converts into VES. You must be aware of the example. Nine. So the plural of knife is knives. We erase F E and instead of that we will put V E S. So this is the way we make the plural. That's why this is self has become self here. Ourselves or themselves. So these are the words which are used as the 
reflexive or emphatic pronoun. Now, where we will use these as the reflexive and where we will use these as the emphatic pronoun. So, these terms will be used as the reflexive pronoun when the subject and the object are the same. When the subject and the object are the same, then we will use these words as the reflexive pronoun as myself, yourself, himself, herself. For example, I am here giving the example of reflection. I cut myself on a piece of glass. So who cut? I cut to whom? To myself. So here the subject and the object both are the same. So that's why here it is called the reflexive pronoun. So now myself is the reflexive pronoun in this sentence. Another example Suresh fell over and hurt himself. So he fell over, this person fell over and this person hurt himself. Himself is the reflexive pronoun. Why? Because the subject and the object both are the same. So that is why this is the reflexive pronoun. Now we will see how the same words myself, yourself, himself, person are used as the emphatic pronoun. Where we use the emphatic pronoun? Emphatic pronouns are used where we put the emphasis. Emphatic comes from the word emphasis, where we put emphasis on the noun or the pronoun. Then we use the emphatic pronouns. For example, uh, now for the example of emphatic. These are the examples of reflexive. Now, the examples of emphatic I wash my clothes myself. Myself is the emphatic pronoun. Why? Because it is uh, emphasizing the pronoun I. Here with, I told you that emphatic pronouns are the pronouns which emphasizes on the noun or the pronoun. So here this myself is emphasizing on the pronoun noun. If I remove this myself and I'll say only I wash my clothes. The meaning is that I am doing my work. I do my work. But I have written here myself. So this is emphasizing that definitely only I am washing my clothes. So this myself is emphasizing on the pronoun I. And that's why this is emphatic pronoun in this case. Another the manager himself welcomes us to the hotel. Now, 
the manager is the noun here and the assistant is the pronoun. What kind of pronoun? This is the emphatic pronoun because it is emphasizing. If I have removed this himself, the manager welcome us to the hotel. And if I, I put here himself, the meaning is the same in both the cases with or without the himself. But why we use this himself? To emphasize on this subject, the manager, which is noun. So, the reflexive pronoun, the same words can be used as reflexive pronoun when the subject and objects both are the same. And same words can be used as the emphatic pronoun when these words are used to put emphasis on the noun or the pronoun.